crazy. Are you a Christian who's been speaking, Ooh. writing, and mentoring others for free? I'm very crazy. Oh. So lonely. And crazy. Thinking that you'll be someone new. Oh, good morning, good afternoon. Family, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Mental House. Let me get serious here. Um, I don't know. This, this, I don't know how to really bring this conversation other than, um, I think that all of our black politicians probably need to be expelled because most of them, or at least the ones that are like that Jacoby, because you know what, that, that, that stuff kept me up. And I know I should be way past stories keeping me up all night. But when it comes to respect, when it comes to the next generation, as a grandparent, when it comes to looking at all the fights and sacrifices that we've made as black people, 60s and 70s, and to see as where we at now, sometimes it's hard to sleep. And that's why a lot of those brothers went crazy, like Huey Newton, um, my dad, um, uh, uh, I can't think of his name, so I just got to say H. Rap Brown. A lot of our freedom fighters just went crazy if they didn't get killed because black people are such a hard people to lead and hard-headed, stiff-necked, and rebellious, and I really don't think nobody really knows the damage. I mean, we can't even fathom the damage that slavery has done to us. You know? And I gotta be honest about it. Um, all of us, everyone that is uh, 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 Adolf's need to desensitize their Willie Lynch chip and their slave chip. Listen, slavery is all in the mind now. The white man could take the chains off our first. He had it on our feet and arms, and we were limited. And that was, you know, to get us just like the circus elephant. You know, um, you put him on that a chain on his foot. He can only go so far, so far, so far. And then you remove the chain. And after you remove the chain, after he's been conditioned, for so long to be there. He just stays in that position. And that's why I'm starting to look at black folk in a lot of ways. We have so many people in our um, community that are house Negroes, that are selling us out, that really wouldn't care what happens to us unless they, as long as they get their butter biscuits. Okay? And that's always been the case. Um, There's no trickle-down effect. It's I grease my pocket and the hell with you and your family. And see, we don't need no representation if, we got, if that's the representation that we got to have. And what happens is they go to the powers that be and the powers that be know that they can count on them to thwart any movement, any thoughts of dealing with and fighting oppression and colonialization. I'm sorry, colonization. And they use and they parade these people in, in your face and say they're leaders. Well, a lot of times we vote for them because they cute or because they talk a good game. But once they get up in there, we see that, oh, Lord, they don't have our best interests 
and mine at Tin Heart. And for people who need such transparency and such, because our trust and everything as a human being has been broken through slavery, through chattel slavery, that it makes it difficult for us to, it seems to me, to really, I mean, I'm starting to wonder, did slavery beat the fight out of us now? After watching so much, and I get in terms of generation before, or people in the 60s, but I think that the maybe the generation behind that has been too drug-induced, too, I think the will and the food has beat the will out of them. It's like there's no will. There's no will for you to even attack your own and say, hey, go sit your ass down. Like it used to be back in the day when we had these uh, debates or roundtable discussions. And, you know, Malcolm could tell, um, oh, God, I can see him sitting around the table right now. Um you know, he might have a conversation with or people with opposing uh, uh, thoughts. And they could be shut down in a way that you knew one was independent and you knew who was on the take for master. Nowadays, you don't have that because everybody's on the take. You know, everybody wants the bag. So they replaced any kind of integrity that we had. And being, we've always been the moral compass of white people, of the earth, of the world. And now we've digressed to a point where um, people know they can make a fool out of us. They know they can come into our town after a white supremacist shoots three innocent people in the head of because of their rhetoric, because of their um, hunt and relentless attack on black people. And then you got somebody that, you said Florida was the place, again, where woke comes to die. So since Florida is where those people were killed, does, does it serve me okay to say that... Um, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say, okay, that's the narrative that you were painting. That's the seed you was planting. And now that it ha has happened, now that it has happened, you stand in front of me and think I'm supposed to be happy to see you? Like, you can't even have your own feelings. These people have stripped you of your own authentic feeling. That's when you know you've messed up. You can't even say what you feel. You're lying to yourself. That's why you got stress. That's why you got high blood pressure. That's why you got diabetes. That's why you got every damn thing. Because you can't even tell the truth to yourself. You wouldn't even tell Aunt Jemima to sit her ass down. Because right now, no, 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 he need to hear this or he need to move his ass on. You didn't even have the guts to even do it. See, because in the, listen, y'all remember when Jane Byrne went to a, what was it, Capri de Green? Y'all got to... Y'all got to go back. And because they took civics out of school, this was a plan. It was to make you ignorant and stupid to civics. You don't even know how the government worked. They did that on purpose. Took it out to schools, but they was in the suburban school. But it wasn't in the public school. Because they wanted you to stay ignorant. And they know you, you ain't going to learn nothing on your own. Unless somebody make you. And you got to realize the hell, for a hundred years, they wouldn't even allow you to read. A little longer. They kept a book from you. You'd be met with death if anybody taught you to read. So it's not one, a lot of, a lot of us, reading is not our strong 
suits. I ain't going to say that about myself because I love to read. But there's a lot of us that don't even know how this works. They don't even know there's three legislative bodies. And because they dummied us down, we ain't even going to talk about that MAGA crew. The hillbilly bunch. We can't even talk about them. Or the ones who know they wouldn't even give those people, the hillbilly bunch, the time of day. But they can sure use them and their ignorance to be taken advantage of. Just like black people are being taken advantage of by their black corrupt leadership. Poor black people and poor white people got more in common than they ever thought, ever imagined. It's like the Dr. Seuss book, The Star Belly Sneeches. I always say that. A man came to town and gave you some of them some stars and told them they had stars on ours and they were better the ones than the other ones. And just like human nature, they believed it. So they wanted some stars on ours. And so he gave it to them. So the other set of Sneeches saw that they had some too. So then they went and got another one. So they were still different. They were still snooty. Because man always wants to feed his ego. And he wants to feed his ego so damn bad that he's willing to be divided and conquered by a criminal enterprise that he can see with his inner soul that is not working at the best interest of uh, uh, human beings. And if you're human, you should be able to see this. Even if you are being and you are righteous being, you should be able to see the matrix. And you don't want to be a part of it. The sad part about it is a lot of us don't even know we in it. And so when we have people like Jacoby Pittman or these people like, uh, you know, Candace Owens, Larry Elder, who would name them all? Oh, man, who did, who was it back in the day? Uh, Roy Ennis and all these other guys. I mean, just it, the, the, we've always had to sell out. The ones that the white supremacists or the ones who keep this matrix going, I say the marionette, get them a few dollars. They'll sell their people out because I can assure you, just like Willie Lynch said, uh, mistrust is stronger than trust. And so when you've divided a group of people, when you beat them down, beat them, beat them, beat them, it, and they have a fear, a pain in their bodies, that they ain't comfortable to somebody who's using them. And that's why you be looking at them and you say, what's wrong? You think the white man's ice is colder? Why would you buy that product from him? And he, your brother over here selling the same exact thing. But you're going to buy it from the white man. Because you think his ice is colder. And um, anybody that has endured that much physical pain and brutality... Um, it's like they're the scapegoat child of the nation. And anybody know the family arc, the, the arc of the, what is it, uh, Wislow's uh, family arc, the dynamic of families. It, this, the scapegoat child, we're the perpetual scapegoat. And I don't know how we're going to get out of this um, unless we get to purge some of them politicians that we voted and elected to put in there to change our condition and help us at least change the conditions and trickle some of them funds that the white people have a party with into the communities where they go. But once y'all get y'all money, y'all be the hell with us. And look, I can't do nothing for you, mate. I got mine. And so there we go over and over and over. But it can't go keep going on. It, it can't. 
It, this is the idea whose time has come. Look what's happening in Mali. Look what's happening in Niger. Look what's happening in Burkina Fox. What's going on all over the world was black people under, understand what's really going on, who we are, the dynamic of we really rich, and we live like peasants over here. And the only way people treat us like that is because we don't have a backing of a homeland like the Chinese got China and the Germans got Germany and um, the Arabs got, you know, there is nothing that says we should going to be protected. And so people take advantage of us. But I say Africa is going to take its rightful place again. You know, I'm like Dr. King. I may not get here with you. You know, I never thought I'd see a black president. But I did. But black people are going to take a lot more suffering before things straighten out for us. Because we are hard-headed. And we like the children of Israel who some say that we are. That after we were delivered from bondage. We sat there and went crazy and we party and we played with the calf, the golden calf, and we start worshiping idol shit instead of the God that brought us and delivered us thus far. And so Moses had to say, those of y'all who don't live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. Mm -hmm. Broke a whole bunch of them off. And it was, and the rest of them was left, what, for 40 years to wander in the wilderness because of their disobedience to God. Now, that could be just a story. But we're bringing this shit to life. I can tell you that. We're bringing that story to life. Because those of us uh, who know better, we want to do better. But when you have a whole bunch of black people that all they care about is inappropriate uh, behavior and ass popping and who got the biggest butt and all that kind of low light level, low hanging fruit shit. How can you accomplish anything as a group of people when you still on such a carnal level of who you are? If you got big breasts, and big tits and big ass, who gives a damn about that? And there's nothing in your brain. Nothing that will make you uh, rise above the condition that you're in. Like I said, we got work to do. And this is the work that, ha that has to be done by black folk. And black folk alone. By black folk alone. And we have to get rid of those Jacoby Pittman types. Every time I see those glasses in my mind, she's actually taking up space in my head rent-free, and I have to go and meditate, I have to go purge her out of it because I am so pissed off at what she did and what Ron DeSantis did after those people were murdered. He had the audacity, the balls, to walk his ass down there. And the people had the right spirit. But y'all let her talk you out of your own real authentic emotion? Cause she and then she had nerve talk to you like she was your mammy. Not your mama, but your mammy. But look here, and we gonna get this party started. Oh God. Y'all pray for me, cause I I I pray for black people all over the country. To wake the hell up. Wake up. And right now, we don't seem to be wanting to do that at all. We don't want to wake up at all. We want to stay in a perpetual sleep and let these crooks, You know what I'm saying? And all I'm saying is, 
Yo, we got to do better. Oh. We got to do better. We have got, got to do better. All right. With that being said, I know this video was a little longer than I expected it to be, but um, I'll see y'all in the next video.